Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to discuss iOS 8, more specifically my top list of iOS 8 apps that utilize some of Apple's new and more liberating developer APIs. Now to preface with iOS 8, Apple opened up an entirely new world for developers, as they can now create apps that tie into Safari, the new health app, which is reportedly bugged at the moment, and other apps third-party apps even, if you grant them access. But that's just scratching the surface. Apps can also add widgets to Notification Center, protect sensitive information using Touch ID without having any form of access to fingerprint data on the secure enclave, and even fully replace the default keyboard. It's truly an amazing time to be a part of the iOS community. Also, really quick, I just wanted to say that this video is going to be relatively short and not as extensive, as I'll need time to prepare for all of my iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus coverage I'll post tomorrow and over the weekend. If you're watching this video at a later date, just be sure to check my channel for those. Links to all the apps can be found down below. Now, let's jump right into this with number one, which coincidentally, happens to have a one in its name, 1Password. Initially, I was considering going with a keyboard app, but then I realized that this app has received the most substantial update of any apps that make use of iOS 8's new features. Now, I'm not going to exactly demo this app, but instead summarize it. As the name would suggest, 1Password allows you to secure all of your logins behind a single password. All stored credentials are encrypted and can be saved on either iCloud or Dropbox, and best of all, you're the only one one who can decrypt it using your 1Password. It's also free for a limited time. Previous prices for the app have gone up as far as $20, so don't miss out and download it now. And as for its iOS 8 exclusive features, you can now use Touch ID to unlock the app in lieu of your 1Password, and I can't demo that because my iPhone 5S will remain on 7.1.2 to retain its jailbreak. If you missed out on my untethered iOS 8 jailbreak update video from yesterday, just be sure to check it out on my channel. I strongly recommend watching it. And back to 1Password, it can now plug passwords directly into Safari and other apps that are updated to support the extension. Next we have Swipe. This is a paid keyboard replacement app, and while you can obtain it for free using Free App Life, another alternative is SwiftKey. However, that requires that you allow it access to what you type in order to provide the same functionality as Swipe, which I don't condone at all because I value privacy, and I prefer Swipe. Now enabling it as you can see is extremely simple. Like for other iOS 8 keyboards, navigate to the settings app, general, keyboard, tap add new keyboard, select the corresponding option, and next time you bring up the keyboard, tap and hold the globe to switch. As you can see, once activated, I can simply swipe between letters to type out words. It automatically puts spaces between them, and the same thing goes for one letter words like A or I. You can even pick which keyboard skin you want to use, and switching back to the the default keyboard is pretty fast, and returning to swipe, or the last used keyboard for that matter, is also very fluid. Simply tap, hold, and let go. And unfortunately, you'll have to switch back every time you want to use an emoticon or an emoji. Now, as for notification center widgets, a decent one is Yahoo Weather, which provides a nice widget if location services are enabled. But seeing as I have that setting disabled, it prompts for access. For something a bit more robust, though, the paid Skyview app offers a nice widget that displays the rise and set times for the sun, the moon, and other planets in our solar system, but it doesn't appear to be entirely accurate for now. Hopefully there will be an update to address that soon. Finally, let's finish with a game. Or three, several apps have been updated to make use of Apple's Metal API for iOS 8, which allows apps, again namely games, to access more of the device's SoC or system on a chip. Epic Zen Garden showcases what's possible using Metal, Asphalt 8, and Plunder Pirates look great on devices that are compatible with Metal. The iPod Touch is not one of them though. That's it for this list. Again, you can find everything linked to in the post that's down below. And finally, turn paid apps, including Swipe, the keyboard app demo during this video, gift cards, and even electronic devices, download Free App Life by visiting bit.ly forward slash get free app life or freeapplife.com.
Palm inside of Safari. Once downloaded and opened, install the brief and temporary security profile, and then you can start earning massive points by downloading sponsored apps and referring friends. And also rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section for my upcoming iPhone 6 giveaway, which I'll announce tomorrow during my iPhone 6 unboxing. You'll also need free app life download for that. So again, just be sure to do so now if you haven't already. And that's it for this video. Again, I hope you guys liked it. And if you wanna be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Again, more videos coming soon on iOS 8, the iPhone 6, and the iPhone 6 Plus. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.